Nigeria has one of the highest statistics, you know, from what we've learned around, you know, 46%, you know, both FGM and child marriage combined. So, and um, it's, it probably has to do with the culture, you know, um, there's some, in northern parts of Nigeria, they, they see child bride as, you know, as a means of, some even use it as just a gift, you know, sometimes some use it to pay homage, um, some basically because of um, poverty, they feel it's, it's the way out and they are, they are not getting to see it's, not, it's, it's the way to nowhere. In terms of the FGM, you know, it's a practice that, you know, started from our ancestors, you know, if we look, need to look at this thing critically, I think um, the UN is doing a very good thing to actually try and engage traditional rulers because this has been a practice that has been there for, you know, time immemorial. I've learned that in order for it to be totally eradicated, you have to be different approach to different kingdoms because some, some already have a constitution whereby you know, it's easy for their leaders to make these decisions that get to the grassroots, mm. while some, you know, it's not that easy. I've learned the, to, uh, on how to tackle the, dis, the disparity or the disunity, should I say, in the constitution in terms of the law, because some of the laws are not binding and some of the laws are contradicting you know, the customary laws in terms of age, child marriage age, and you know what the federal government is saying that should be the, the time you know to get married. The, the, the gap there is, is you know is education, you know, and passing information out, around across the people. You know, because culture is one of the most uh, difficult. You can't have wage war on culture. The only way you can wage war on culture or to maybe enhance culture, let me use that word or promote culture, you know, is through education and through you know. Uh, awareness. So what I'm going to be doing is when, when I go back with some of the information, the tools that I've been able to gather here, I'm going to go back and try and make sure that every society, you know, every in my kingdom and beyond as much as I can get my reach with my influence, probably my friends, you know, and in other kingdoms and other places on how we need to educate people the more. And I think the more people get to have this education about, you know, it's not being something right, you know, the, 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 the more we're going to get to the bottom of this. I think education is key and that's what I'll be driving at. My last words are, I believe uh, we will end child marriage and FGM and I really want to commend uh, the UN women for what they're doing, bringing everybody together, you know, when you organize these things like you bring in different stakeholders, you know, together to dialogue on this, I think it's a very, very good step towards, you know, achieving ending child marriage and FGM.